In this video, we are going to solve a problem related to Bartlett windowing. Before we jump into the problem, let me briefly explain the theory behind it. This video is split into sections, so to skip to a certain section, timestamps are given in the description below. What is windowing technique? It is one of the techniques in the FIR filter designing. As FIR filter deals with finite number of samples, hence there is a need to first convert an infinite impulse response to a finite impulse response. For achieving this, we need a black box that only allows the passing of certain samples. This process is called windowing and the black box is referred to as a window. A window may give two types of output, anti-causal and causal. Anti-causal, when the output has both positive and negative time samples. Causal, when the output only has positive time samples. Windowing technique can be mathematically obtained by multiplying infinite impulse response with windowing function. This gives the truncated or finite impulse response. As we know, multiplication in time domain results in convolution of two signals in frequency domain. Types of windows can be classified based on their response. Rectangular windowing, Bartlett windowing, Hamming windowing and Hanning windowing. In this video, we focus on Bartlett window. A Bartlett window is also known as triangular window as the response is triangular in nature. To avoid Gibbs phenomena, we use windows with slant edges as higher side lobe strength provides gain in the stop band, which is not desired. The windowing function for this technique is given by the function given below, where m is the order of the filter and m plus 1 is the length, where m minus 1 are non-zero samples. When we plot this function, we get a triangular response in time domain and in frequency spectrum, we get the graph as shown some note points. This is a causal filter. Peak side lobe amplitude is minus 25 relatively. Approx width of the main lobe is 8 pi by m. And peak approx error is minus 25 dB. Now, let us solve a problem. In this problem, we have to design a 25 tap FIR band stop filter with stop region from pi by 6 to pi by 3. To design this FIR filter, we will make use of a Bartlett window. Steps to design a FIR filter involve First, we initialize the value of HD. Then we do the inverse Fourier transform to get the infinite impulse response. Now, we multiply it with the window function to get finite impulse response. Further, we can get H by finding Fourier transform of infinite impulse response. Now, let us look at the MATLAB code. In the starting, I have initialized all the variables and domains we require for plotting the graph. Here, I have initialized the HD spectrum as given in the question, which is followed by the construction of Bartlett window function in time domain using for loops. Now following the steps, we find the inverse Fourier transform of the spectrum using IFFT function of MATLAB. This will result in giving the infinite impulse response HD. To get the finite impulse response H, we multiply HD with the window function constructed earlier. After that, we use FFT function to find the Fourier transform of H to get its frequency spectrum. Finally, we plot all the graphs. From the graphs, we can see the Bartlett window appears to be in triangular shape in time domain. And further, we can see its frequency spectrum. And on the other side, we can see the FIR filter graphs. Note, in magnitude in dB graph, we can clearly see max side lobe height is minus 21 dB. 